Right, let's do this. So, first video on the new channel. Um, basically, story so far. I've had the body off the Beetle. Redone the whole chassis. And it's just sitting on there temporarily. The next plan of action is bodywork. So, as you can see, I've taken the rear apron out and I'm just attempting to clean all of this, all these welds that were holding the apron in place, which obviously not factory. Um, I think I'm gonna de seam where. The rubber seal strip is because that's a common rust trap and yeah so basically I'm just attempting to clean all this area up both sides I've got parts to weld in here over there obviously side trays so see how the cleanup uh, operation goes we'll be back Alright, so, done a bit of work on the 72 Beetle since I last recorded. I'll be doing this probably day to day and then edit together to make a half decent video. That's a plan anyway. So a little bit of history. It's, uh, I didn't really speak upon that much in the first uh, little recording. So it's uh, 1972 GT Beetle. So what that means is came with disc brake standard, three colours. The colour you see now, which is supposed to be tomato red. There was a apple green and a lemon yellow, I believe. Um, and the tomato red ones are the fastest, obviously. So that's why I've got this one. Sorry about the wind. Hopefully it's not picking up too bad with the microphone. I'm using my phone, so. Yeah, so as we were anyway, uh, cleaned up, I welded in a little patch here, which I'm going to be working on further today, and then I'm going to attempt to improve upon all this round here, and then the last section to sort out on here is along this, there was like, it's really pretty badly corroded, um, and there's supposed to be a lip running down here, which you can see the side maybe yeah there lift down there it's supposed to be one piece kind of like this but no. that needs tidying up as well so that's what we're going to be working on so i'll bring it back when i've cleaned that up welded it a bit more see how it looks all right so another day working on the gt um, we've also got a couple of additions that are going to help us along our way, one of which being some new welding shrouds and this guy here. Let's uh, open it up and see what this is all about. Okay, so we're recording from Vi uh, Vice Cam. I've got my phone plugged in there, uh, warmed into the vice while I attempt to open this. See what we've got. Very uh, well packaged. Very good. box section it's 
So this is essentially what I'm going to use to brace the body. And it's something to do with the heat panels. Let's see. Oh. With me. So I'm going to cut it and use it to brace between this pillar on the inside and this pillar. Oh, I'm not going to do that yet because even though I've got a pretty good dog gap at the moment, dog's coming out a bit there at the top. I don't know if you can see that. And I believe that's because I'm currently sitting on axle stands. So as soon as I've finished this section off, it's getting somewhere near now. I'll put the wheel back on, drop it down, check my dog out. And then we can see about bracing the body ready to do the heat channels. So, making some progress. Right, so with regards to this section here, bear in mind I've still got to do this side over here as well. It's not as involved as this one, but I'm pretty happy with this so far. Pretty cleaned up. I might come in here and do try and fill in a bit more, but this is where I'm going to focus my attention. So we've got the apron sat on there loosely. The deck lid opens okay. That seam. So what I've got to do today is try and make this seat a lot happier than it is, which is going to involve Bit of panel beating on this panel that I put in place. You can see just behind there now. Uh, grind these welds down, try and get it as flush as possible. Try and match in the shape with this. So it looks like one solid piece. Then once I'm happy with that, go on to the other side. But well, that won't be the end of it because see the wing wings bolt in through here, but I've got plans for that. I've got to make something for this as well. And yeah, I probably should have marked up first and then welded something on there, but it'll be fine, we'll figure it out. So let's go about doing that. Well, as you can see, I've been busy. Um, I've actually got the rear quarter to finish level. Um, Kind of happy with it, it needs some tweaking. It's not perfect, but when you consider what it was like, pretty happy. Obviously, I've got this piece to uh, dress up and put in place. And then, once I've done that, we will make a start on making this guy removable. I want it so it falls in nicely. I paint this, I don't want it getting chipped when I put it back on. It's a little difficult to put in place as it is. So I'm going to see what I can chip away at that to make it fit better. Hopefully uh, we'll start that in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye.